What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel Hidden Heights Farm. I'm Kevin and in the last video I talked about we had a problem that we had to address over in Cora and Leesky's pen with the dogs and uh, that's what we're doing today. So some of you might look at this and if you followed us last year you're probably gonna pick up on it right away. Um, we got Arctic weather coming in like this week and it's supposed to be the high it's supposed to be like seven degrees for like three days or something and when it's that cold getting fresh water to our animals is vital but when it's that cold it's hard to keep water liquefied to keep it from freezing uh, when you got dogs in there you can't just throw heaters and cords around because core is still a puppy Leesky's pretty much a puppy and they love chewing on everything so I have got to come up with something got to invent something that will allow us to keep water fresh water at all times without the dogs getting to the heater so what I got here is I got a uh, drain plug de-icer from Farm Innovators and we are going to try to build a heated stomp tank. Now here's the deal. You can go to you can go to your Atwoods, Tractor Supply and places like that and you can buy the heated stock tanks but none of them are short. They're, they are all the, the smallest, shortest one I found was 24 inches tall and uh, when the stock tank is this tall and you got young goats they're not going to be able to get in there to get a drink and if they try to get a drink some of them could possibly fall in and drown and we do not want that so we got to build a dog proof heated stock tank because we got to build this weather coming <clears throat> um so what we're going to do is i got this tank here this this particular farm innovators drain plug the icer says it is made to work with any of the rubbermaid tanks now like i said you can go buy a rubbermaid tank that's two or three foot tall the bigger gallon ones and they'll have a drain plug right here. Well, I cannot find a short tank um, galvanized or a poly rubberized one like this that already has the hole in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to drain. I've already measured. I've got a two inch hole saw. Um, this right here is going to, uh, I'm going to drill a hole right here. This right here is going to go right through it. And uh, we got to make it to where this goes up against the fence and the dogs have no access to this cord. And uh, we got to make it where hopefully they can't get in there and get any cord on the inside. So this type of plug or this type of uh, heater is going to be showing only the metal elements <laughs> on the inside. So uh, I got a helper here. You going to help me with this or what? He's like, yeah, I like hot, hot baths. But anyways, I'm just going to get started and then something else come in if you guys have been following us. You know, Cora has been growing like a weed and she outgrew her collar. So I'm going to talk about this at the end of the video. I'll have Rachel help me go put the new collar on her and uh, I'll talk a little bit about this. But first, let's get this done. Um, so when you buy these plugs or these drain heaters, they actually come with a nut and they come with two little gaskets. And you want to put one on each side. But we're going to try to do this without using silicone, but we want to make sure that it doesn't leak. So. I think I'm going to do this on the ground if I can get Smeagol out of there. Smeagol. Come here. <coughs> I apologize for coughing. <laughs> it's me behind the camera and I'm trying to get over the flu. So I apologize, guys. So whenever you're doing this, whenever you're drilling your hole for your plug, if you guys do find a short tank like this and you want to do this, make sure you leave room for the nut because the nut is going to be, I don't know what you do with it. So if you want to, if you want to put it up here higher, you're not going to be able to put your nut on there. So you got to kind of come down low enough to where you're going to have room to put your nut on there. So now put this washer in the cord. At all so the gasket will stick better. Make sure you clean it off good enough so there ain't no debris or anything. So your gasket will stick good. And then uh oh, I think it's the same way. Make sure you put your gasket first, put your nut through. Maybe you'll clean it. They might not 
my, my coveralls. Okay, I was gonna hand tight. Oh, you got it. Stronger than these channel waffles, I guess. I can't get it no tighter. Not over tight. No, I'm not gonna over tighten it. Alright, that should be good. You just wanna tighten it enough to compress some gaskets down so no water leaks. And there you go. That's what it looks like. And this is gonna be just barely off the barely off the ground like that. And this should give us a dog-proof, goat-friendly water tank because, like I said, you can't go buy a short, shallow water tank for the small animals like goats that has the heater built in. So do something like this and you can make your own. Okay, my question is... Okay, so it is off the, yeah. the rubber. Yep. Okay. That makes sense. And again, um, the way this works, so to talk a little bit more about this heater, this is driven by a thermostat. It has a thermostat built in. I believe whenever it reads 35 degrees and below is when it kicks on. So that way it is not just continuously running your electric bill up. Um, it'll heat the water up and once it gets up to a certain temperature, it'll stay off until that temperature gets down to 35 degrees and then it'll kick on again to warm the water back up. So now the true test is, is it gonna leak? So we're gonna take it over there and um, hook it up and uh, fill it up with water and make sure it don't leak. Okay, so this is why you gotta be super careful yeah. uh, when you're handling stock tanks feed uh buckets things like that when you're turning it yeah, over it's uh, middle of december and it's yep. black widows papa <laughs> just about put his fingers on that yeah he's got the gloves on i don't even have gloves yep. on all right move get out of the way Go that way a little. That's pretty good, I think. Yeah, you can. Make sure it's up against the fence so they can't get to uh, the cord. Alright, we're gonna let this fill up. I'm gonna run the extension cord and get it hooked up. It's not below 35 degrees right now, so uh, I'll have to show you guys in the morning or something. The difference that it makes between having a heater and not having a heater. I'll I'll get a bucket of water and put right here, and then uh, before I end this video, I'll end it tomorrow, and I'll come back out here and show you guys the difference. So we'll make sure it's working. Kevin, what you do? I didn't do anything. It's what you get for being nosy, I guess. <laughs> you got <it> somehow. <laughs> We're sitting here letting the water fill up and uh, making sure it's not leaking. And Rachel will come and zoom in, show you guys it's not leaking. But uh, Smeagol got underneath that other <laughs> So far, so good. It's going to leak. It's leak but no, no. Yeah. Cora, what do you think? Do you approve? She's already been uh, drinking it. So guys, this is a, um, this was just a trial thing. I kind of came up with this on my own. I've been doing a lot of research on these heaters. The heaters actually have good reviews, but most people that use them, use them in existing bigger stock tanks that already has the hole drilled and these little rubber made stock tanks that are goat friendly because they're short they don't have the hole so i just drilled one put one of those in there and uh, it looks good to go um the gaskets they provide are you know probably an eighth inch or thicker you got one on each side compress it down with a nut it's got a good uh compression on there so you don't have to worry about using silicone or anything but if it does leak, or maybe if you've got a tank that has a hole just a little bit bigger, you might have to use some silicone or something. But I will leave a link in the description to this stock tank and the heater. You can get them both on Amazon. You can get them both at Tractor Supply. But I will definitely leave a link down in the description because this is an easy way to come up with a chicken-friendly, duck, goose, emus in our case. Short dogs, short any kind of animal 
that you need a heater and a stock tank. These stock tanks are awesome because they're short to the ground. They're easy to dump out and clean. And now you know how to put a heater in there for winter time. Okay, Cora, got you a present, girl. I didn't say least. You already got a new collar. We already got a pretty green one. Looky here, girl. Come here, Cora. Come here. Look at this. Come here. This is yours. This is all yours. Oh, she's so happy. So guys, these collars are tried and true. Leesky's had his for about a year now. And these are 100% waterproof. They're nylon. Oh, they got nice buckles on there that don't break. So they're pretty <laughs> durable, especially with these dogs. So uh oh, look. She outgrew hers pretty quick. They smell. I got jerky in my pocket. Oh, come here. Here. Hold on, let me get this off of her real quick. Come here, girl. I don't know if I can get it off. Come here, Lacey. Come here, sit. Good girl. Come here. Okay. Right. There you go, girl. Come here, Lacey. Lacey's got to be in on the... Here. Lacey, come, come here. Not you. Cora, come here. You got to get your new collar on. So, here's the old one. This one is bigger. Oh same, my goodness. same exact brand. Look how much she's grown. A lot. Come here, Cora. <coughs> Cora, come here. Come here, pretty girl. You're not in trouble. Here, let me do it. <coughs> come here. Yeah. Leesky kind of rain on the phone. Leesky. Oh, good girl. Yeah. Good girl. Come here, Leesky. Alright. Got me a horse. Get <laughs> over here, horse, Dad. <laughs> oh, you, you have to have all the attention. He's such a jealous. Little Cora thinks she's in trouble and she got a present for Christmas. Come here, Cora. <laughs> you can see your bright pink collar. Come here, I got a treat. Come here, Cora. Come here, pretty girl. Come here. Come here. Hard to go, girl. <laughs> she's like, I don't know if I like it. Come here. Look. Look. Look what I got. Look what I got. Good girl. Oh, boy. Good girl. Good girl. She's better. Lord. Lasky. Here you go. Want another one? Looky here. Good girl. Good girl. Cor got a new necklace and you didn't. Cor got a new necklace. <laughs> oh no. Look. Okay, so that one is, I think, about four inches smaller than this one. And she's had it ever since she was a puppy. Um, they are adjustable. So ever since we got her, she was, what, three months old? About this big, and now she was all the way to the end, and it was getting too tight. That one still has, I think, two more notches to grow. She's growing. She's Her neck is already way thicker than Leesky's, and he's quite a bit older than her. So she's got a lot of growing to do. So anyways, guys, um, as far as the stock tank goes with the heater, if you guys have any questions or anything, feel free to email us. Um, check out our new website. Hopefully we'll have a blog post on this coming up soon. Um, HiddenHeightsFarms.net or dot, HiddenHeightsFarms.com. I'll put a link down in the description as well. And I'll put it on the screen if I can remember. But uh, tomorrow morning I'll come out here. I'm not going to end the video right now. I'll come back out here tomorrow. I got a bucket, a five gallon bucket of water sitting right next to the stock tank. I'm going to show you guys the difference between having a heater and not. So we'll see you in the morning. All right, so the winter storm is here. We got uh, some crazy 40 mile per hour winds. We're going to go walk out here and check on the water stock tank the bucket and look at these dogs look where they're lying so you guys seen the hay bale we put out in one of the last videos these dogs has made a home nice cozy bed right there in the uh hay they're covered in snow so let's go check everything and uh make sure this water heater is working 
It is, uh, I think it's 11 degrees right now and it's falling pretty quick. At least he's got snow all over his coat. But these dogs are made for this type of weather. Okay, I see a uh, liquid. That's a good sign that the water heater is working. You got fresh water and it's not frozen. What do you think about that, huh? You look very cold. You better get in the barn. All right, here's a bucket. Look at that. We did it, Leesky. A dog-proof, goat-friendly, heated water tank. What do you think, Miss Cora? Come on, let's go get in the barn. Why are, why are you goats out here in the snow and the ice? It is uh, frigid. It is very frigid. So let's go in the barn, make sure everything's okay in here. Hey, Mr. Ruski, that didn't take you long. So I went ahead and closed the door off because that is the north side. We got all the straw put in here. Um, I went and got a few, five more bells of straw and put down for bedding and uh, made them a little extra bed. Yeah. So everybody it should be nice and warm, but the main thing is, is they got a heated water tank so now they don't even have to go back and forth to the pond. I don't have to go out and bust the pond to get them the water. Um, so if you guys are interested in all the products we use to build that heated water tank, um, check out our website, hiddenheightsfarms.com and uh, eventually we'll have a blog put up and we'll have the product links and all that and I'll have a little how-to step step-by-step -step type thing written up on there and uh, if you guys got any questions or anything just let us know so i'm gonna go check on everybody else thank you guys so much for watching subscribe if you're not subscribed to the channel and we'll see you on the next one